hello viewers welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video we will continue with this series of cisco packet tracer okay in today's video we'll be talking about hub let's see how we can connect hub and different devices together so first of all let's see what hub look like and what actually does a hub do in a lan network okay so this is a hub down here let's bring it out let's see the physical view of this hub Now, a hub has different ports, okay? Now, different Ethernet ports. Now, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. This particular hub has six ports. And we also have a, an expansion slot in case you want to add more ports to it, okay? And here we have the on and off button for this hub. Now, in networking, a hub is a device that links multiple computers and devices together. Okay, now hubs can also be referred to as a repeater or maybe a concentrator. Okay, it broadcasts whatever kind of message it gets to all the whole ports. So in today's demonstration, I'm going to connect different computers to the ports of this hub. And I'm going to send data from a particular port to the next one. And we'll see how this data or packet will be distributed to my untargeted ports. Okay. So let's go back and do our connections. So I'm going to place this hub here. I'm going to get different PCs. So come down here and get devices. So let's get PC1. We can get a laptop. We can get another PC. We can get another PC. Okay, let's just use four here. Remember your type of cable, okay? If you don't know what kind of cable to use to connect your devices, you can use this uh, automatically choose connection type, but you should always know the kind of cable used to connect a particular kind of device, okay? So these are unlike devices. So a hub and these pieces, they are unlike devices. So we're going to be using a straight through copper cable to do our connections. Okay, so I'm going to select this, pass it on at zero to any of the ports, okay? Port 4 and uh, port 5, okay? So let's give uh, these systems an IP address on the same network. Remember, all these guys are now on the same network. So let's get a note, okay? So I'm going to give them IP address on this range, 10.10.10.0, okay? Slash eight. So we're going to give them IP address on this range. So this system will be 10.10.10.1, 10.10.10.2, 10.10.10.3, 10.10.10.4, 10.10.10.5, okay? So dot one, dot two, dot three, dot four. So click on a particular PC. Click on IP configuration and give it the IP address ten dot ten dot ten dot one. Okay, subnet mask 255.0.0.0. So likewise this, 10.10.10.2. Okay. Ten dot ten dot ten dot three. 
10 dots 10 dots 10 dots 4 subdate mass 255.255.255.0 okay now that we have already assigned the IP addresses on this system let's see how communication is going to pass through from this source to this destination okay okay let's use this so I'm going to be passing a packet from this particular PC1 to PC3 and let's see how communication is going to pass through the network okay so first of all let's click on simulation mode okay so from our simulation mode so here we'll be watching the movement of our packet okay let me try and move this small so to the left okay and we have this here all right now first of all for you to be able to know the IP address of your PC, this command is what you are going to use. So click on the particular PC and type ipconfig, okay, enter. So once you click on ipconfig, you can identify the particular IP address of your system. So in case you forget the IP address of your system, you can always use this command ipconfig to get the IP address of your system, all right? We'll be talking about IPv6 in our later, later videos, okay? So just stay tuned and continue on this series. So let's close this. Now, our targeted PC is 10.10.10.3. Uh, .10 .10 now, I'm going to send packet from here. So from this PC to this PC, all right? Now, play. So PCC is forwarded the data to the hub. And look, the hub broadcasts it to all the ports connected to it. And laptop one and PC eight rejected the packet. Why PC seven accepted or acknowledged the packet and sent this back to the switch. And it returns back to PC six for acknowledgement. Okay. Why these two rejected the packet. So this is how a hub work. So considering security in your network, a hub is not really advisable to use for your LAN connections, okay? So if you watch from this simulation panel, at the devices, PCC, which is this PC here, sends the packet to the hub, okay? PCC sends the packet to the hub. The hub receives the packet and broadcasts it to all the whole devices connected to it. So both laptop one, PC seven, and PC uh, eight. Okay, laptop 1, PC7, and PC8. But then the main target was PC7. So PC7 acknowledges that packet and send it back to the hub. Now the hub repeats the same thing. Receives the message and send it again through PC6, laptop 1, and PC8. So that's exactly what happens here. Now if you watch, it is only PC6 that acknowledge the message. All right. But then all the whole packet was broadcast to all the whole devices connected to it thank you guys that will be all for this video in my next video i'll be talking about how devices connected to a switch can transfer data from one device to another don't miss out that video switch is an intelligent device unlike a hub so i'll be talking more and we'll be seeing a practical difference between a switch and a hub see you guys in my next video